Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at PowerPoint and specifically the draw feature. So I'm using the browser-based version on my Mac in the Microsoft Edge browser, but across the tabs at the top, you'll see that one of those tabs refers to draw. And what I've done here is I've created a number of templates, which I think you could use with the draw template in conjunction maybe with a, with a smart board in your classroom. So if you want to know how I created these templates, then click up on the banner in the top right hand corner and that will show you how to create the templates. But in essence, what I've done is I've inserted shapes. But I could see this working really well in a classroom, as I say. You could put this up onto the, the interactive whiteboard and then use the pen function to enable the students to interact with the templates. So they could, they could fill in, in this case, a crossword clue you click on the drop down arrow having selected the pen you can alter the thickness of the line you can change the color choice and then the student could write and because it works so well you could as I say using it with the interactive whiteboard they could use the pens that come with that whiteboard and you could get the students up to the front of the room to start filling in the templates that you've created and you can see very easy to use obviously I'm using it with my mouse but that it'd be even easier to use with the pens that come. So you can fill in the sheets. We can use the highlighter. And again, if you click on it, you can alter the thickness and the color, and we can highlight certain things. Um, I love this sort of matching pairs idea. So you could have different elements. They could be images or they could be text. And you could ask the students to match the pairs appropriately by drawing lines between them you could maybe change the color between the line to enable them to match and you for you to see which students have done that so that's the matching pairs it could be what is the word and sort of a hangman style thing and they could fill in the word or the missing words again they could have a go at filling those in and again for something like the odd one out again each each drawing implement has an option to edit the size and the color. You could ask them to circle which one they think is the odd one out. Or if we scroll further down, we could have a label the object. So it could be that they just simply label the object. So there's lots of functionality there. Once you finish with your, with your filling in, you can then save a copy so not to, to, to have that on your original PowerPoint. Save a copy, uh, and you can do that save as, and save a copy online, or you could download a copy as a PDF or as an image. If you use the image function in the full version of PowerPoint as opposed to the browser-based version, you could download the specific sheets related to the, the elements that students filled in. So that's how you add content. To delete content, you can make use of the eraser tool and you can just, it will rub out the, the highlighted elements. So it's only rubbing out the bits that you've drawn on, not, the, not the, the images and the shapes that you've inserted in the background. So you can use the rubber, or if you prefer, you can select by just dragging the lasso tool round, and then it will, it will drag, it will separate the various elements, let's do it again, and you can delete them that way as well. So there you have it, a uh, really quick one this week but a simple way of making use of the draw feature in PowerPoint. To, so you can use templates such as this one to add students, add animations, annot not animations, add annotations to your presentation using the interactive whiteboard in your classroom. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a like. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.